When we think of Kuwait, many of us think of sandy deserts, camels and oil. But just of Kuwait coastline is a vibrant, colorful world. Today, take a journey with me to visit the Gulf Coral Reefs. Kuwait is home to the, to the three major coral islands. Three islands are formed by a large buildup of coral. Colonies that have grown so large, they help to form the land masses. Um Al Maradim Island, Kubar Island, and Garo Island are popular spots for divers and tourists, giving the beauty of the reefs and beaches. Tragically, though, divers and visitors often harm the very habitats they are coming to see, dropping anchors into the coral reefs, breaking pieces of the coral off the reef to take home and show friends and leaving rubbish from a picnic all killed the coral animal and hurt the fish and other marine creatures who lived in the reef. These everyday activities are a dangerous to the reef survival. Even more sadly, tourists have not been the only thing to harm Kuwait coral island. War is deadly thing to human, but it is only victim are not the people it kills. The 1990 and 1991 Iraqi invasion of Kuwait was devastating to the Gulf marine ecosystem. Sunken boats crossed into the coral reefs, killing millions of animals. Oil spills, some of the, them uh, deliberated, uh, poisoned the water and destroyed marine ecosystem. Even today, 25 years later, the Kuwait team the Kuwait dive team uh, sometimes find cannons and other weapons left over uh, from the war at the bottom of the sea. In order to help protect and rebuild Kuwait coral reefs, the dive team took on a project to create artificial reefs around the country's waters. Coral reefs take a hundred of years to grow up. In order to help stimulate the reefs and cre create replacement habitats. Uh, scientists around the world have been experiments with a variety of materials and, shape and to, uh, shapes to place on the seabed. Two decades ago, the dive team joined these efforts and carried out a variety of experiments to find the best way to create artificial reefs. In October 2003, the Kuwait dive team planted nearly two acres to artificial reefs to ensure that the habitats have a chance to grow. Some of, these are, some of them are in a sanctuary away from tourist divers and boats. The Kuwait dive team regularly check on the coral health. Thanks to the Kuwait dive team and the Jabra Al Ahmed reefs, and now a thriving underwater ecosystem and Kuwait waters are beginning to look as beautiful and colorful as they did before the war.